All right, give us a chance. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. <laughs> I'm very surprised that you have the courage to start today. Why should I be scared? You need to know, I'm just surprised. <laughs> <laughs> You're a happy man today. Yes, I am. Congratulations on the win. Um, a very good performance. But if I may just start with um, something that might not be so pleasant. We noticed in the second half with Anthony, Antonio Rudiger called the ref over and, and made a complaint, it seems, to the referee. Maybe something to do with the, the Spurs fans. Um, and the referee then came over and spoke to his um, official. So I wonder if you might be able to shed any light on that for us, please. Oh, uh, I just heard it some minutes ago because I was actually not aware of all this uh, during the match. I thought there was something going on between him and his uh, direct opponent. Uh, it was during a free uh, um, a corner, or before a corner, or around the corner. Like. So I have absolutely zero information for you, not because I don't want to give you any, but I'm... I'm I simply have uh, nothing to say about it. Hi, Thomas. Congratulations on the win. Was uh, was Hakim's goal perhaps the best you've seen since you've been Chelsea manager? Was was a very nice goal actually. Uh, the build up was good to the goal. The, the movements around. Uh, Hakim to bring him into this position and, and the shot was, was, was of course brilliant. Um, yeah, was one of the, the 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 nicer was one of the very nice goals so far, um, and and I'm very happy because he deserves it first of all today and was a very important goal um, to get the lead and so well done, excellent shot. Your bonnet four at the back. And you had an awful lot of players in their half all the way through the game. Is this a way forward? One way forward. I think like uh, we, we tried a 4 one for one formation today um, to, to, because we thought like we tried the 4 for 2 against them in the first match, which gave us an advantage. And, and then they reacted to it in the second match. And we thought that maybe... Um, Maybe it could be a, a, an approach to give the players a new solution after after the, the last matches. And uh, we had we had players for, for for the formation, players in shape, players who wanted and should be on the pitch and had good positions for them. So yeah, it is uh, it gives us more options than only to play a three four three. But um, yeah. Just don't decide now, but it was was well done. James Robson. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Uh, after Hakim's performance today, and that's two goals in those last two games, you said before that you you want to see more from him. Is is that should this now be the platform for him to go on from? Is there any excuse now for him not to do that? Yeah, absolutely. It was one of his best matches today because he was very reliable be fair it's maybe also his best position to be to be on the on the wing to have the wide position um, on the right wing that position does normally not not exist uh, in that particular um, manner when we play our three four three and it is more a wing back maybe we can think about like 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 doing this but yeah he was good because it gave him the the opportunity to take risks where it's possible to take risks and uh, he was he was um, very reliable on the ball in, in in moments where it was necessary, and uh, the work rate is always outstanding. Like you can always rely on him in in terms of counter pressing and and on on work rate for the team. So yeah, well well done, and uh, yeah, he needs to keep on going like everybody else. Hi Thomas, is is one of the reasons you're playing this formation because you miss the wing backs? Um, is it uh, something that Hudson Odoi and Ziyech have been able to, um, you know, solve the problem with to provide that width? Yeah, but it was a we changed a bit the tactics in the first match against against Tottenham. Then they adapted to it, and and we thought that maybe it could give us a, a bit of. A, um, could give us some solutions to to escape the high pressing, to put the game in the opponent's half, and to have a bit more width um, without having wingbacks. Um, 
still like Trevor was only in one one training session. Um, also Andreas Andreas Christensen, who's a key player, was not available. So yeah, for a back three, you need first of all three central defenders, then you need two wing backs. And uh, we thought like maybe today we can attack in a four-one-four-one to cause some problems, and the team did good. So gives us another option as well. Then. Okay, last two, Nick Kirill, and then Matt Law to finish. Nick. Hi, right, Thomas. Just thinking about um, the context of, of the result in the terms of the timing um, and also the reaction of the players and, and your staff. Um, it seems like, one, it's a really important result, but two, it changed the uh, mood and the attitude and the way you were talking about before the match. It seemed like Hakim's goal gave everyone a massive lift and obviously then you carried that on. Yeah, of course, it gave us a massive lift, but I'm even more impressed because we didn't score that goal after five, six or seven minutes or in the very uh, early stage of the match and, and, and went from there by pure positive emotions. No, we worked hard for it. And, and when it came, it came to, to the uh, in, in second half, we kept on going and kept on pushing and, and kept on believing. So that was uh, very, very good because we come from a from a from a long run of a lot of games. We come from some results that we didn't like, and and was a was a big match and and we performed, have a clean sheets, won. So it was very, very good, and and that's the way I think. Like that, it was a London derby helped us, and that it that we have now some days off, and the players knew it helped us also because it like gave us. Kind of a feeling like a like a cup like a cup game, but I agree with you. The attitude and uh, the mentality, the spirit in the in the team was very good yesterday uh, in training. I feel it that they want to prove a point here and and continued. I continued to have the good feeling today when I saw them and uh, how they how they were together and how they prepared the match. So happy that they can could prove it. Hi, Thomas. Um, just to go back to Andy's point, I appreciate that you don't know what happened with Antonio and the, the Tottenham fans, but there's been a few issues of disorder with fans this weekend, with bottles being thrown and play, fans getting on the pitch. And I noticed that you did a video for Chelsea asking fans not to come on the pitch. I just wondered generally, are, are managers and players nervous at all about the behaviour of, of some idiots at games at the moment? Because there's a rising problem with fans getting on the pitch and things being thrown and stuff. Yeah, but I'm not worried. I mean, uh, I did what I did and you're, you're right. I, I sent a message to our fans, supporters, that we that we love to have them close to the um, close to the pitch, that we love, that it, it's a brilliant atmosphere, that they are not behind fences, not behind nets or whatever. So, and then from there, everybody needs to show respect and needs to behave, of course, in, in, in certain uh, guidelines. There is no doubt about it. But uh, in general, I'm not I'm not concerned con uh, concerned because right now I enjoy the the atmosphere. Also in away stadiums, it's it's brilliant. And uh, yeah, if this is a new trend, we should we should help um, like uh, together and and act together that it stops as soon as possible um, to protect to protect the environment of of this game and to protect the atmosphere because it's absolutely unique here in England. Thanks everybody. That's it for today. Bye. Bye.